Hello everyone, my name is H.J. Rourke, I'm with a company called Timecode Systems, and we provide wireless timecode to any number of acquisition devices, but also unique to our company, we also provide it for GoPro cameras. Uh, I have one right here, and we'll get to a picture of it, but this GoPro camera actually has timecode synchronization on it. It's a small attachment, and we can manage up to 48 of these from one finger swipe. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, you know, with multi-camera shoots uh, now commonplace, the volume of media generated during the filming has rocketed. And part of this is the overall trend in the industry to say we want more acquisition, we want more content, but no matter how, what the price of the um, acqui acquisition device is, it's expensive to process and post if it's not time, time code conformed. There's also issues with lower cost cameras on production setup. And the two of these taken together actually drive our ROI and our platform's value. I put this up, uh, this is a quote from one of our customers. It's a UK-based survivor genre reality show called The Island with Bear Grylls. And this is an interesting um, production um, problem they had where the actual castaway characters film each other during the course of the show. There's also professional, professional camera people in the background and on the periphery with traditional cameras such as uh, Canon C300s. But for the most part, 80% of the content is flowing from GoPro cameras. Uh, when they installed our platform, uh, we saved them so much time and money in post and uh, protected them against deadlines that they now even use more GoPros because we can get that footage into post right away uh, off the GoPros as well as the other cameras. Gold Rush is another uh, reality TV. In this case, they were um, shooting and, and generating up to 2,000 media cards per episode, or I'm sorry, per season, and over 5,000 hours of content. Uh, many times they would say that, um, that it would take them a horribly long time to get and find the most exciting, compelling footage, because it was on GoPro somewhere on that media and uh, we were able to drop everything right into post uh, as if it was a professional camera with its own time code. And now they've actually taken on more GoPros they never thought they would in their lives. And their other cameras also in the environment are conformed to t the same time code. So we'll talk a little bit about how we're doing this. Uh, but before I go there, I just want to say that we're not just a reality TV-based uh, production uh, vertical market company. We go after all kinds of multi-cam production. And really that's what we're about, multi-cam production. You can add GoPros into it, but we're installed uh, in feature film, dramatic and episodic TV, obviously reality TV, uh, news, and um, sports. Actually, we just joined the SVG group, if some people might know about that, and we're getting tremendous uh, feedback from that, and uh, that's been one of the more busy aspects of my booth here in the Central Hall. So here's other companies besides uh, reality TV that are using our system. Uh, as you can see, it's a very mixed list of acquisition type goals and different problems for each one of these companies. But they all have a common goal of if they could get more uh, content and process it in a cost-effective way uh, and that their cost per production per hour was lower, even though they were adding more acquisition, they would definitely be interested to do that. Um, and you should know that as well, we came out with these products a couple of years ago, but by the time we hit IBC last year, the ones we're gonna talk about now uh, have already started to be uh, award-winning products. So it's, it's not only well-referenced and well-installed, it's also uh, well-respected in industry uh, expertise circles. So, I've been talking about money saved and ROI, and I want to stress that this is not so much about the price of the camera, although it, do, it does play a factor. We can just, by using the lower cost cameras, we can get to a, turn, a return on investment quicker. Um, and it really comes down to a couple of aspects in post-production and, um, and in production. So again, we use wireless um, time code synchronization, but we use RF. We do not use Wi-Fi. Uh, we use a low uh, sub-gigahertz RF so that we have a very clean, uncongested transmission 
um, uh, signaling area and therefore we can work in all kinds of venues that are crowded. Obviously we can work across wide areas such as the show Gold Rush, uh, but we can also work in a packed stadium uh, where everyone is on their cell phones or mobile phones and as well there's all kinds of transmission going on. We do not interfere with any of that and our time code sync stays locked. We uh, can go to just about any time code ready device including digital cinema, electronic news gathering, audio recorders, and as I said, uniquely we are the only company that can bring a GoPro into that ecosystem. We can also, because of the way we do time code, easily add or subtract um, acquisition devices from the uh, production environment. Uh, for example, if a GoPro media is full or the battery is low, uh, we can just take it out. Or maybe it just failed. Uh, we can take it out, we put a new camera in, it discovers the time code right away and becomes part of the acquisition, um, acquisition uh, ecosystem. All media from all cameras that are using our technology uh, is perfectly synchronized and ready for post. And we're actually providing uh, the master clock or the time code generation, um, but we have ways to slave to facility time code as well, so it just depends on the venue and the production requirements. Uh, one thing you'll see with our products is they're also very lightweight and small, so they're easy to bring, uh, to deploy on all kinds of smaller but important uh, venues where the setup and the, trans the logistics of the gear play a factor in the cost of doing the production. Um, another point that we'll get into in more detail is that we can wirelessly control the GoPros uh, beyond having the time code come in on the media. We can, with our application, uh, actually set up as many as 48 GoPros and you can, with a finger swipe, start them simultaneously, roll record, roll record in groups, if you will, uh, if you want, rather, stop record, power off, as well as we can turn off the GoPro, but leave our sync on, so if there's a break in production or new, uh, moving to a new location, everything stays sync, even though you're moving along. So, can you wirelessly Time code and sync and control up to 48 GoPros, yes. Uh, we use Hero 4 cameras. Uh, obviously the reason that we have this technology is prior to us coming on the scene, you couldn't use time code with GoPros at all. And um, we are also ready to put these cameras with our back into VR rigs if needed. And we have certain um, multi-cam environments where there are traditional cameras, handheld cameras, GoPros and VR rigs, and we can manage all of that from the point of view of time code synchronization for post and setting them, starting them in production. How do you manage uh, and control and sync non-GoPro cameras? This product was introduced at the show. It's a camera back. Uh, it's, about the, it's about half the size of an iPhone. It has multiple connection options for multiple different kinds of cameras, but basically we put these on handheld cameras. The limit of what we're doing here is time code sync and genlock, but the control aspects we talked about with the, with the GoPros, that's slotted towards the GoPros because obviously the cameraman is doing the stop start record of the camera. But what the important thing to look at in this is that the uh, cameras can participate in the same ecosystem of acquisition as the GoPros. So we don't care if you have Canon C300s, Sony F55s, et cetera. Uh, they can just be part of the acquisition um, and put as many GoPros in the mix as you want because once you have them all working together, you're getting all this extra content at a very low price and it, the cost of doing it in post has been completely taken off the table with those GoPro media cards. Um, um, also, if I didn't mention, we have extremely long range with this, with this RF signal. We can have a range of 3,000 feet. Um, obviously, there's large venues, large uh, set production kinds of things that you can think about, but also in drones. We can put uh, VR rigs on, on the bottom of drones. We can make sure everything's working with our application. And then we can send the drone up and then once it's up we hit uh, roll record and everything starts at the same time. And this basically is the key to running those two previous slides. 
We have our own time code generator hub called Pulse. And we have an, a free application called Blink Hub. And these uh, tiles on the hub represent um, each camera, each acquisition device actually, and master time. Uh, and therefore monitoring, getting metadata from them. And in the case of GoPros, obviously, uh, you can do some more operations such as the recording and the rolling of the cameras uh, and the stopping of them. But we can actually monitor up to 48 devices uh, in one shoot, and we can also gang up multiple pulses, so you can have different uh, sets of large numbers of cameras if it's needed. Uh, but yes, we have um, situations where we have over 36 cameras in a stadium venue, and one person is actually running 30 of those cameras from his iPhone. This is just another way that we package the product. This is a, a, a VR rig that can take a Hero 4 plus our camera back. And we have all the same benefits we talked about, this idea of uh, consolidating control. We would just zone this set of cameras and call it zone one, even though there's six or eight cameras, or actually up to 24 cameras. And we have all the same production benefits that uh, we just talked about with cameras that are strung around a venue or a production set concentrically. So it, this also helps remove the guesswork out of uh, VR because sometimes GoPros don't roll. So when we turn on the cameras, we can see by the, um, by the, uh, the application if a camera's grayed out that it needs to be replaced before we start rolling the cameras. Uh, once you're done, obviously, we can stop. We can also stop the cameras in any situation and keep the sync back time code on while the camera battery is off in order to rest the, the battery between uh, production takes, et cetera, as well as that applies again to normal multicam production or VR, or actually we can mix and blend both of those together. So you can have traditional cameras on set with uh, VR rigs as well. So Timecode System is the patent holder for all this technology. Uh, they're based out of uh, Birmingham, England. They're all ex-production people that had problems with conforming Timecode for media and how much money that costs to do in post, and uh, especially with deadlines uh, looming. So they solved their own problems and have automated it. And they always understood that if we could make um, GoPro cameras uh, professionally managed, uh, and the cost and impact of post minimized, then it would open up the door to, to uh, other companies saying, look, we want more acquisition. One way to think about what we're doing with all this technology is we can give you 25 camera angles for the price of one mid-range camera, and it's as if that 25 cameras uh, are actually you know, consolidated into one camera because it's managed by one camera person from their iPad or iPhone or Android phone but they get all the professional production uh, uh, tools of setting them up and controlling them, resting them between production, and finally, of course, bringing time code media to post. Uh, I will conclude this presentation if there's any questions.